Hi, my name is Jerry, and I'm a twin troller boat owner. A few weeks ago, Philip contacted me and wanted to know how I installed the bearing buddies on my trailer and how I replaced my lights that came with my twin trailer on the trailer with new LED ones. What is it that you say? You want to know where I got the bearing buddies? Well, that makes sense. I bought them on Amazon. Amazon had a seller by the name of Rigid who makes trailer hitches and things like that. And that's who actually shipped them to me. But they came through Amazon. Now I bought them over two years ago. They were $30.95. And I bought what's called a bearing buddy with bras in a pair. The part number is a B as in boy, 42204. Dash one nine B is in boy, and it's also called here a bearing buddy one nine eight zero A S S stainless steel. On the Amazon order, it calls it a bearing buddy stainless steel bearing protectors. In parentheses one point nine eight zero end parentheses. That's the diameter of the bearing buddies because they come in different sizes so that's the size you want and the one I have has auto check with the bras now what does that mean let me show you this is a bearing buddy and this is the bearing buddy bra the bra is just a piece of plastic that slips over this to keep any grease that might come out of here from flinging all over and getting all over everything so you just take that off that came with it and you can see there's a little bit of liquid in there and that's just from sitting here in the garage and having any water that's gotten into the system pushed out this particular bearing buddy has the what's called the auto check that's this blue thing when you put a grease gun on here and pump it this actually starts to protrude and it shows you how full it is not all bearing buddies come with this that's kind of an extra it tells you how full you have it and the way how this works it's spring loaded on the inside and it's trying to push that way so as you fill this with grease that spring that's there is pushing constantly this way trying to force the grease to go into the bearing that pressure pushing that way keeps the water once this wheel is in the water from pushing backwards into the bearing getting water all over the bearing causing a failure of the bearing system you put your grease gun over here this protrudes out wipe it off when you get done take the bearing buddy bra put it back on and you're done you gotta do the same thing the other side how did i get this on here well this comes pretty much what you see and then there are some prongs on the other side. So the original dust cap that was here that used to cover this entire thing, you're gonna pry off, you're gonna catch it on an edge, tap it, say with a screwdriver or something and pry it a little, pry it a little, pry it until it pops off. Clean your surface, take your bearing buddy and put it as straight on as you can get it. Once you get it straight on, you're gonna have a hammer, you're gonna take a piece of wood and put it over the top this is a little bit small piece of wood, but uh, as far as width wise, so maybe a piece of two by four, put it over it, hold it there, keep it straight lined up, whack it with a hammer a couple of good times till you get it to seat all the way in. And that's all you got to do. Of course, it would be empty when you bought it. So you're going to fill it up with grease. You can even fill it up ahead of time and to make sure it's full, put your bra back on you're done time to go fishing once you do the other side this is my new led light they're led on the front they're very bright they even have an opening at the bottom that allows a uh, white light from an led to spray down on the license plate it works extremely well <clears throat> well what do you do with all the wires and how do you set this up your original light set 
from Freedom Electric came with two wires. This one has three. It just has a separate ground wire. So you're going to take that white wire, in this case white, and you're going to nip off the end. If it came with a little connector, that's fine. And you're going to put it on anywhere where there's a bolt and uh, tighten it on so it's on and goes, gets a good ground to the frame of the trailer. The original lights grounded themselves through these bolts. This one has a separate ground to make sure it makes a good connection. Now, you see the yellow and the brown wire. Well, what well, wires go where? Well, it happens to be that the original wires from the trailer itself here are brown and yellow. And they match the old lights. Now we're on the right hand side, starboard side of the boat. Again, this is the old light and you see the colors of these wires are green and brown. Just like what comes out of the trailer. Green and brown. Well, the light itself has three wires coming out and on this side it's white, green, and brown. So what does that mean? It means you have wires on each side and they're different colors. Well, how do you know which ones go where? Especially if the LEDs that you buy have totally different colors. Well, let me show you that. Remember how we had a green and a brown on this side? The other side is a brown and a yellow coming out of the trailer. Well that means there's a common color there which is brown. That's your uh, second wire. The wire that goes to the tail light itself, the brake light, the turn signal, on this side would be the green one and the only other wire on the other side is the yellow one. So you're just gonna take the old snip off all the wires I wanted to save some of my wiring and I didn't want to cut it off, make it short. Who knows down the road what I would do. So I kept the extra wire, I wrapped it around here, and then I made my connections. Well, if you still aren't 100% sure, strip your wires, connect them together, do the same thing on the other side, and go to your car, turn on the lights, see what happens. Uh, turn on your left signal. That side should light up, turn on the right signal, this one should light up. If they're not, then swap your wires uh, where you had the green and the brown connected, flip them back over and wire them again, uh, just temporarily. And then when you get all done, and you know which ones are which, you want to permanently seal these. See how these have this black section on it? Well, my wire is inside there. And what is that? And how do you fix it? Because you want this to be watertight, even your wires. Otherwise, they'll start to corrode and they can cause all kinds of problems down the road. What do you do to do that? I'm not sure how much I need to show people, but I'm going to show you how to join the two wires. Now, this is house wiring. It's not the kind of wiring that you'd see on the boat, but I'm using this as an example. So you're going to take the two wires that you have, take a pair of uh, wire strippers similar to this, and strip it off. Now, those are going to be much smaller wires than this, okay? So then you're going to take a piece of This is called shrink tubing. And I buy it in different lengths and different various sizes. I got a whole bunch of it here. And I'm going to show you as an example. It comes in different lengths. But you want a piece kind of like this. Now this is a little bit even big for this, the hole. But the right size that would be appropriate for the size of the wire. You want it just a little bit bigger. And then you want to slide it down. Get it away from here, because you're going to use some heat. And then you're going to put these together, and you're going to solder them. And then 
after you solder them and cool it, you've already got your shrink tubing on there, liquid electrical tape. Take the, there's a little brush built into the cap, take it off. Now you'll have these two together and I'm going to paint these a little. Okay, try and seal them. I'm going to take that tubing, of course remember you got these soldered, slide it back over so it's like this. And then you're going to take a little, you know, Bic lighter and slowly heat it and this tubing will shrink and seal, especially with that wet liquid electrical tape underneath there. When this shrinks down, it will seal it really well. And this will be waterproof when you get done. And you do that to both of your connections going into the light. You've put a, the white light and grounded it to the frame and you're done. Again, this is my old light, but where did I get the LED lights from? Well, I tried looking through my records. I couldn't really remember. I want to say that it was probably Amazon, but I couldn't find the paperwork. But I was in Walmart the other day and they had them in the boating section. Uh, so they're all over the place. They're easy to get. They're all pretty much the same. They're all waterproof. If you have any questions, if I didn't explain it well enough, please contact me and I'll try to straighten it out. Thank you. I hope you liked my video. If you did, please subscribe right there in the corner or give me a thumbs up. Maybe even share it with some friends. Leave some comments or questions below. Or you can even push on that bell down there and that will give you notice when I put out another video. Thanks for watching. Bye now.